Well, if you watched the last video, uh, we tried to start the jet for the first time using a gravity feed fuel system and it went as planned, which was not very successful. So um, we're gonna start it again a second time, but the first thing we need is to build uh, a small fuel cell. So I'm gonna draw up and design a quick, uh, like four and a half gallon fuel cell. We'll get it cut out, welded up, um, so we can hook an airline onto it with a pressure gauge so we can adjust how much pressure goes into it and we can fill that with fuel and then that should be sufficient to start the jet. So first things first, we'll do a, a quick little uh, fabrication montage and then um, we'll roll the thing back out and see if it starts. <laughs> Okay, got the new fuel system and our tank hooked up. We'll start it.
Hey guys, so pretty excited. Uh, that jet, it, it ended up working better than I could have anticipated for this second run. We probably started it four or five times, um, you know, learning a little bit more about what it liked each time to get it to run. So we played with a couple of things. Um, the, the big thing that got us going was getting the, uh, the fuel mix right. So you can see in the first videos, it smoked a bit when it started, shot a bit of a flame out there until it got going. Um, and, and that was just from running it on pure diesel. You can run it on diesel. Um, in our case, we added about a 30, 70 mix of diesel to gas. We put about 30% gas into the fuel to make it a little more volatile. And the second we did that, that thing was happy. I mean, it hardly smoked at all. Uh, the RPMs came alive right away. Um, so I think that was a big thing. Um, the second thing we got to finish up is the igniter. There's a solenoid that dumps fuel down the igniter to help start ignition. Um, we were doing it with a squirt bottle that wasn't hooked up. Uh, so I just need to get a little solenoid and hook up a fuel line to the high pressure side. So when the igniter's on, you dump fuel down the igniter path. And then when the igniter's off, uh, you know, that fuel flow stops because it's self-sustaining at that point. Um, but yeah, it, it ran great. I think we got it about 30, 35% RPM, um, which is a, a, just a bit above idle. So, um, you know, we'll have to add more fuel pressure, uh, you know, add more fuel to it to get it up higher than that. But that, that's a good safe spot for, you know, how we had our, our little buck set up uh, to test the jet. Um, what else? Oh, EGTs were great. Uh, it got maybe 800 degrees Celsius uh, just on that initial startup, which is okay. And then um, then it was happy. Once it was running, it was at like not even 300 degrees Celsius. So um, very safe conditions. So that was good to see. Um, yeah, so we started up a bunch of times, just learned a little bit more each time where the, the fuel pressure needs to be, when to bring the fuel in, how much fuel. Um, so we're learning each time we start it up and it's getting cleaner and cleaner every time. So, uh, so that's fantastic. Um, uh, also want, want to say that, uh, there's another YouTube channel. It's called agent Jay Z. It's an incredible amount of information about turbo jets. Um, he rebuilds them. They have a shop up in Canada. Uh, very interesting stuff to watch if you're into that kind of thing. Um, but his video has helped a ton because I have a service manual that, that shows me, you know, fairly general things about the jet. Um, but, but not things in detail, you know, especially we designed a bunch of custom, uh, fuel systems and hydraulic systems and, and things that, you know, aren't in that manual that haven't been done before. Um, so he's got a wealth of information out there that really helped us be successful with this project because, uh, I mean, he's got very detailed videos of every piece of very similar turbo jets. Um, so thanks a lot, Agent Jay-Z, because uh, it, it helped us be successful with our project. I spent a lot of hours just going through your videos, watching specific things, um, just to try to understand how we can, uh, you know, pass that on to this J34 that we started up. So thanks a bunch, man. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to do some more fun stuff with this. The next step for us is to get the pontoon ready to put the jet on it and then put permanent systems in place for fuel and hydraulics and all that stuff. So that's what we'll be working on next. Um, so stick around if, if you're interested in that kind of thing, but it'll be pretty fun. I think once we get this thing on a pontoon, it, uh, should be interesting at, at the very least. So, all right, guys, see you next time.